Hi, everyone, and welcome to Connections Resource Center. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, my name is Nat, and we are here to chat with Derek McKinley. Uh, thanks so much, Derek, for coming. So Derek is from Sing Song Party Time, and he's going to be doing some music for us. Yay. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> How's everybody doing? Great. I think everyone's doing great, right? All right, great. so... I just wanted to quickly chat with Derek first, and then after that, Derek's actually going to do a song for us, so which is really exciting. We are really thrilled to have you on um, to bring, I guess, that sunshine to our homes, right, in this really tough time right now for both our kids and for our families as a whole. So I just wanted to touch on your music. So much of your music is actually based on healthy living in the environment. So you have songs about riding bikes, about playing outside, about enjoying nature with your family and about eating healthy. And I do have to say that I really love your veggie beard. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hanging on the shelf. <laughs> so I guess a lot of these are based on your family values. And I'm yeah. just wondering, yeah. Absolutely. Just wondering. <laughs> I'll totally, I'll expand. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you know, I, I started this after I had uh, children um, of my own, but I actually had taught children in Japan teaching English there. So I was uh, doing that and I would introduce my guitar to those classes just because it's so much easier to get kids and people to learn with music. So especially language. So that's, that's kind of where it started for me. And then when I came back to Canada and I was just kind of, you know, someone said, hey, you want to play a birthday party for my for my child? Because I was playing music all the time and um, I did. And then it kind of just snowballed from there. And I was working in the government at the time um, in a job that just wasn't for me. Great job for the right person, just not for me. Uh, I'm too hyper. I can't sit in a cubicle all day. I just lose it. I just got to get up and. So you just gotta move. Uh, I gotta move. Yeah. So I uh, actually I don't even have a, a chair in my office. We we did a standing desk thing now. So, uh, but yeah. So I when my kids came, I started playing more music for them to kind of teach them about things. Um, and then because I'm all about the earth, I'm all about Mother Earth, caring for the environment, um, trying to get you know leave that foot, like footprint as low as it can be. And so through fun songs that kind of put the power back in the kids' hands. So they can think about it, not to be kind of on my soapbox telling them, oh, you should care about animals. Mm -hmm. More just like, let's have fun appreciating how great they are and how much fun we can have uh, celebrating them. So, yeah. So I do that through, it's basically a reflection of, of my life. My wife and I, we're, we like to garden. We like to eat organic or eat like healthy food. And then, of course, uh, yeah, with, with going outside. So we live in the forest. We literally live inside the forest. So we kind of just realize that we're part of this ecosystem and we're just going to do our best to not dirty it up <laughs> and uh, teach our kids to really, you know, realize that that's, that's your home. Right. So, yeah. And such great, such great values as well. Right. Things that kids really can relate to as well, you know, especially the way that you make everything so silly and fun and it's just, you know, simple topics that though mean the world to them really, right? And that they can grow up with. So Absolutely. I just, we, we just really love that about your songs and oh, the you. silliness and everything. And you can tell that you're also enjoying it. So I think that really your stuff is great for kids, but it's also great for adults and families as a whole, right? So really great. So if our parents wanted to find you online, because obviously you're not able to do events right now, no. where would they be able to find you? So I'm doing a bunch of things, um, doing some workshops, doing some uh, fun birthday parties. So if you want to book me for a birthday party, uh, I, I've been doing these really great birthday parties in my Sing Song Party Song place. And uh, it's been really fun. So you can do a birthday party uh, just by contacting me at uh, singsongpartytime.com. Uh, and I'm also, my big thing that I'm pushing is the Patreon page. So uh, Patreon's a great site because you can do live stream shows. So I've been doing a live uh, every Friday morning and uh, it's $15 a month. So you get, that's the one you have to pay for, but you get a bunch of other kind of behind the scenes videos and fun vocal warm up, a little bit of not yoga because I don't have my certification, but stretching and, and just kind of warming up your, your body for singing and dancing. Right. Uh, yeah. So that's on there. Patreon.com slash sing song party time. 
so you can try and, and get and we'll make sure as well to add those links in the comments of this video so that everyone can find you well so we'll put the website and all that and then facebook i've seen oh, you yeah, quite on a bit facebook. on facebook as well and i think you're on instagram too aren't you I maybe am. Yes. Okay. You know, so as soon as I'm party, I'm pretty much everywhere. You can go everywhere <laughs> on the internet. You'll find me. <laughs> so yeah, you can go. YouTube has a bunch of free music videos and fun kind of listening games that I've made with my kids too. Um, that actually had them played in some of the schools in the uh, Carlton board. So that was fun. Yeah. Um, and I guess you also have an album too that, yeah. um, that you have some really great songs on there. Um, you've got like, oh, what if a bunny could talk? Nature's so great. The park songs are really <laughs> great yeah. songs on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like, that's the thing. That album, I did it with um, a good friend of mine. He recorded it, helped me record it. And there's lots of, it's big time production. So there's strings and horns and big drums. Today, you're, I'm just going to play an acoustic version yeah. of the Lama Lu song that's on there, which seems to be the most popular. Um, <laughs> And people seem to just love Lama Lu. So I'll probably play that and introduce him when I do the song. But that That's album, great. You get, yeah, you can get that on Spotify. If anybody's on Spotify, you can stream the album there. You can buy the album on iTunes um, and then YouTube, of course. It's everywhere. Yeah. That's awesome. So, you know what, Derek? I really want to thank you for coming. This is really awesome, you know, for you to come here to chat with us. And I will actually go and let you do your song for us. I'm really excited to awesome. see it. And I'm sure our kids and our parents and our community is excited to hear it, um, you know, to bring that sunshine that we need right now. Yeah. So I'll say bye to everyone and thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Love it. All right. I should introduce you guys, since I'm gonna play the Lama Lu song, I'll just get him over here. If you can see him, he's kind of hiding. Okay, there he is. All right, there he is. So this is my friend Lama Lu. And he's really cool. You can see him. All right. My friend actually brought him back from Peru for me. He's really sweet. He's really cute. So this song is all about him and how I met him actually when I was luckily enough, lucky enough to be hiking and camping in the mountains of Peru in the Andes. So cool. On our way to Machu Picchu. So we, we, I was sleeping in my tent and I woke up and it happened to be my birthday, which is really cool too. And I got up. And I got out of my tent and I went into the other tent where our guide was. There was a donkey there and he held a lot of our supplies. And there was a, uh, a guide that would take care of us, okay? Because we didn't know the area. We didn't know the, the hiking track. So I, I woke up and I went over to his tent. I smelled something good and I looked inside and he was actually cooking. Somehow on a burner, he made me a cake. He made me a strawberry cake on my birthday at 5.30 in the morning in his tent when it was so freezing, I couldn't even feel my hands. And he was making me a cake. I don't even know how he did it. It's amazing. Anyways, it made my day. So I went outside and I was all happy. And I look outside and the sun was just coming up. And there was all these llamas all over the countryside. And it's, it's, it blew my mind. So one of them kind of came up really close to me. Really close. Not that close. Maybe five feet. Social distancing. And before social distancing was a thing. And he said, hola. I said, what? He said, Hi. So anyway, I was like just blown away and then the llama said hi and I said, you're so cool, llama. I'm going to go home and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write a song about you and I'm going to call you Lama Lu. And now you're my favorite animal. So this is my friend Lama Lu and this is a song all about him. I should mention though, just so you know that I'm not that out there, I was half asleep when the llama came up. So it's possible I dreamt the whole hola part, but who knows? Who knows? It still inspired a great song and this one, if you have a shaker with you, I don't know if any of you were prepared to be rocking out with me today, but if you have a shaker, you can get it, or a drum, and you can get it and you can dance with me, because this song's a little bit of a rocking one, all right? So if you have, if you have the dancing spirit, let's do it. Oh, well, here's the latest song Thank you.
on with you from when the sun comes up until the rising moon. I really, really love you, Mama Lou. Oh yeah, here's a little song about a Dama 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 Lou. Oh yeah, here's a little song about a Dama 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 Lou from Peru. Whoa, one more time. Oh, here's a little song about a Dama 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 Lou. Oh yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody. If you want to get the big production version of the Lama Lou song, you can go on to Spotify, sing song party time, or just look up Derek McKinley online. You'll find all the music, all the fun stuff and come join the party on Patreon. All right. So we'll have the link on here. Thanks again. This was so fun. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you again. Take care, everyone. Bye.